Just visit the new CalgaryHerald.com with more of everything worth knowing. The menu may have been the stampede favorites, flapjacks, sausages, and eggs, but many at the Premier's breakfast were chowing down on the idea of a high-speed rail link between Calgary and Edmonton. If you look at the Edmonton-Calgary corridor, that's the best corridor in North America to show where high-speed rail would work. It's 300 kilometers basically straight from one end to the other. It's probably one of the only places in North America that you could actually ride a train quicker than an airplane to get you from point A to point B. So there's, we wanted to make sure we got to get our report out there uh, to make sure that if our federal government's looking at stuff, they also look at the Edmonton-Calgary corridor. After breakfast, a provincial government report will be presented to the joint federal Alberta Conservative Caucus meeting. The report suggests the private sector would be keen to fund construction and operation of a rail link, with the province responsible for acquiring the land. Alberta's finance minister says she has no appetite for the estimated three to twenty billion dollars needed to build the line. At this time, when we're a little short of cash, uh, show me the money. Uh, that's what I'd have to say because we've got uh, a lot of other needs that will have to come first. If the population in the future would support it, certainly that I'm not averse to it. But I, I would just simply say we've got a lot of other infrastructure needs. Uh, let's finish Highway 63 to Fort McMurray. Those are the kinds of things that are my own personal thoughts on it. Well, that says a green light is still years away. Even if we started today, you're probably five years out before you're actually building lines. While the Premier has said he believes a high-speed rail link between Calgary and Edmonton is inevitable. Rick Donkers, CalgaryHerald.com.